What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to solve you this question, which is saying that using binomial theorem, prove that 5 to the power of n minus 4n always leaves the remainder 1 when divided by 16. So 5 to the power of n minus 4 times n divided by 16 leaves the remainder 1. So basically what we need to do, the first thing we have, if we have 5 to the power of n, which is the same as 1 plus 4 to the power of n. So now we made it as a binomial expression. So if you want to expand it, it's going to be basically n c 0 1 to the power of n 4 to the power of 0 plus n c 1 1 to the power of n minus 1 4 to the power of 1 plus n c 2 1 to the power of n minus 2 4 to the power of 2 and so on until we get C, N, C, N, 1 to the power of 0, 4 to the power of N. So basically, that's going to be 5 to the power of N equals to, this one is 1, this one is 1, and this one is 1. So 1 plus this number times 1 to the power of any number is still 1 times 4. So it's going to be basically nc1 times 4 plus nc2 4 to the power of 2 plus nc3 4 to the power of 3 and so on nc1 is basically equals to n so that's going to be 5 to the power of n, 1 plus n times 4, or 4n, plus nc2, 4 to the power of 2, plus nc3, 4 to the power of 3, and so on. Now if you move this 4n to the other side, it's going to be 5 to the power of n minus 4n equals to 1 plus all these terms which if you factor 4 to the power of 2 it's going to end up having nc2 plus 4 times nc3 and so on so it means that if you divide 5 to the power of n minus 4n by 4 to the power of 2 or 16 the remainder is going to be 1 so I'm going to say 5 to the power of n minus 4n always leaves the remainder 1 when divided by 16. So that's the final answer. That's how we prove it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. And please don't forget to subscribe this channel and recommend it to your friends and your colleagues. Thank you for watching and have a great day.